Thanks for joining. In this lesson, we will dive into the fascinating world of JavaScript. This course aims to provide you with a strong foundation in JavaScript and help you develop your skills and understanding of the language, while completion of this course will certainly enhance your proficiency in JavaScript, becoming a professional in any field. This course can greatly contribute to your journey towards finding a job as a developer. By acquiring a solid understanding of JavaScript and developing practical skills through hands-on exercises and projects, you will be equipped with valuable knowledge sought after by many employers in this industry. Get ready to expand your knowledge and improve your coding skills. If you have any questions or need clarification along the way, feel free to comment below. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more exciting lessons like this one. Let's jump right in and start learning. In this lesson, I will briefly explain JavaScript history and how the JavaScript engine works. JavaScript was created by Brandon Ake in 1995 while he was working at Netscape Communications Corporation. Its purpose was to provide a scripting language for web pages, enabling interactivity and enhancing their dynamic nature. That's why it was also called LiveScript. JavaScript is one of the most widely used programming languages for web development. As the web industry continued to grow, there was a demand for a language that could enhance web development. JavaScript emerged as a fantastic solution to meet this need. Consequently, several companies recognized the significance of JavaScript and sought to incorporate it into their products or develop their own versions of the language. In the 1990s, Microsoft developed its own implementation or a fork of JavaScript, and they call it JScript. JScript was created to be compatible with JavaScript but had some differences in its implementation. Microsoft developed JScript for their Internet Explorer browser as a means to provide scripting capabilities similar to JavaScript. During that time, there was intense competition in the web browser market, with two major competitors leading the way, Microsoft and Netscape. Both companies recognized the importance of JavaScript in enhancing the web browsing experience. As I mentioned before, Microsoft developed their own version of JavaScript called JScript for Internet Explorer, while Netscape implemented JavaScript in their Navigator browser. The competition between Microsoft and Netscape played a significant role in the advancement of JavaScript as a widely used scripting language on the web. JavaScript was eventually submitted to the standards organization ECMA, International for Standardization. In 1997, ECMA International formed a committee called ECMA TC39 or Technical Committee 39 to standardize JavaScript. The committee worked on creating a formal specification for the language, which resulted in the first edition of ECMAScript standard in 1997. ECMAScript is the official name for the standard that JavaScript is based on. The ECMA TC39 committee continues to evolve the ECMAScript standard, adding new features and making improvements over time. This standardization process ensures that JavaScript implementation from different vendors are consistent and compatible with each other. By standardizing JavaScript as ECMAScript, it became easier for different browsers and platforms to implement and support their language. It also allowed for greater interoperability and ensured that JavaScript code written for one platform would work similarly for another platforms that follow to ECMAScript standard. So the JavaScript, being an open standard, gained broader adoption and became the de facto scripting language for web development across different browsers and platforms. From a marketing perspective, the name JavaScript, often abbreviated as JS, was chosen to create a connection and capitalize on the popularity of Java at that time. Java was a widely recognized and well-established programming language, and by incorporating Java into the name, it was intended to generate interest and leverage the existing Java brand. So how JavaScript works and why there is a script word? JavaScript was initially designed to add interactivity to web pages and make them dynamic. JavaScript is a scripting language that allows the setting of scripts directly within the HTML of a web page. 
I will give you a quick example. When we refer to JavaScript as a scripting language, it means that JavaScript is primarily used for scripting or controlling the behavior of web pages. Let's take a look at an example to understand this concept better. If we open any website, like for example MDN website in this case, and access the developer tools in the browser, we can explore the elements of the web page. By pressing F12, Control shift i or right-clicking on the web page and choosing Inspect, we can open Developer Tools. Don't worry, I will explain DevTools within few next lessons. Then we can locate this script HTML tag, which is used to load scripts by browser. So the, this tag will load the script and if we go to the Sources tab, then there we can find the script files associated with the web page. These script files are delivered to our computer without modifications. By examining the content of these files, we can see the exact script that is running on our computer. For example, if we open the static folder and search within the files, we may find scripts like this one. And then you can inspect the content of the file and see what this file is doing. Or we can open another script file, and this one, by the way, is written on React. This demonstrates that the scripts running on your computer are the same as the ones delivered by the website. This ability to view and interact with the scripts directly emphasizes JavaScript's role as a scripting language. It enables developers to write code that controls and manipulates web pages dynamically, enhancing the user experience and interactivity. By scripting the behavior of web pages, JavaScript empowers developers to create dynamic and responsive websites. It allows us to add functionality, handle user interactions, manipulate HTML elements, and perform various tasks that enhance the overall browsing experience. So, in summary, JavaScript is called a scripting language because it enables developers to write scripts that control and modify the behavior of web pages in real time. This ability to manipulate web content dynamically distinguishes JavaScript as a scripting language. These scripts run automatically when the page loads and do not require any special preparation or compilation because it's handled by JS engine. JavaScript engines follow a series of steps when encountering a script. First, they parse the script to understand its structure. Then, the script is compiled into machine code for fast execution. Throughout this process, optimizations are applied to improve performance. As the compiled code runs, the engine analyzes data and adjusts the machine code for further optimization. JavaScript engines aim to execute code efficiently, ensuring responsive web experience. All JavaScript engines aim to follow to the same JavaScript standard known as ECMAScript. The ECMAScript standard defines the syntax, semantics, and behavior of the JavaScript language. While different JavaScript engines may have varying levels of implementation and performance optimization, their goal is to interpret and execute JavaScript code based on ECMAScript standards. This allows JavaScript code to be written in a consistent manner and ensures a certain level of cross-platform compatibility. Developers can rely on ECMAScript standard to write JavaScript code that will work across different JavaScript engines, browsers, and platforms, with some considerations for varying levels of support for specific features or extensions. JavaScript engines are intricate systems, but the fundamental workings can be simplified. Briefly, when JavaScript is encountered, the engine begins by reading or parsing the script. This involves analyzing the script's syntax and structure to understand its meaning. After parsing, the engine proceeds to compile the script into machine code, which is a low-level representation that the computer's processor can directly execute. This compilation process involves transforming the script into a more optimized and efficient form that can be executed swiftly. Once the script is compiled into machine code, the engine runs the code. Achieving high-speed execution, the engine applies various optimizations throughout the process, 
aiming to enhance performance and reduce execution time. As the compiled script runs, the engine actively monitors and analyzes the data following through it. This analysis provides insights into the script's behavior and allows the engine to further optimize the generated machine code based on the observed patterns and characteristics. By employing parsing, compilation and optimization techniques, JavaScript engines strive to provide efficient and rapid execution of JavaScript code, enabling smooth and responsive web experience. And now we have reached the end of this lesson. In our next lesson, we will be exploring the exciting topic of JavaScript features and how JavaScript works. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more great coding content. Stay updated with the latest videos by ringing the notification bell. Happy coding!